Hey, good morning. It's Monday. You know what that means? Live show today, 3 o'clock Eastern. Special guest today, too. Be sure and tune in today. Very, very special guest today. A Tennessee fan? Uh, yeah, we're going to have a co-host on today. Uh, this is somebody I've uh, known for a while. He's kind enough to come on the Uncle Lou Show today and co-host with us today. So you'll have somebody else to listen to besides yours truly. So be sure and tune in today, 3 o'clock. We do this show every Monday and Wednesday at 3. And, of course, another live show Tuesdays and Thursday nights at 10. So be sure and tune in today at 3 o'clock. But that's not what we're here to talk about right now. We're here to talk about what everybody else is talking about. The Olympics. Hey, good morning. It's Uncle Lou here. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou. Live for you on YouTube today. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it also, and too, in addition to that as well. Okay, look, I get it. Not everybody is a fan of the Olympics, okay? I get it. I understand that, okay? But I can't lie. I love the Olympics. And I know some of y'all are going to make fun of me about ice skating or, or whatever, and, and, and we'll get to that maybe in this video. But I don't know. Anyway, I love the Olympics. I'm not going to lie. I mean, going all the way back to when I was a kid, I always looked forward to the Olympics. I don't really know why. Um, I, I don't really know what got me infatuated with the Olympics to start with, but I have always just been completely infatuated with the Olympics, summer and winter. Um, there's different things I like in each summer and winter. Of course, the, the Winter Olympics going on uh, right now in uh, Pyongyang or something uh, like that. Uh, in, in in South Korea, uh, over there, yeah, and, uh, I've been watching it, I'm not gonna lie, I watched the opening ceremonies, uh, I've been watching the Olympics since a couple of days before the opening, uh, ceremonies started, I, I look, listen, y'all can comment down below and tell me, we're gonna talk a lot about this on the live show today at three, but y'all can comment down below, what is your favorite winter Olympic sport, right? Because, I mean, there's some exciting ones. There's some good ones. There's some ones that have been around forever. There's some new ones that have only been around the last few Olympics. And then there's curling. <laughs> I don't know what it is about... Curling is one of the... Curling is like the Shawshank Redemption, the movie, right? I don't care how many times you've seen it. I don't even really care whether you like it or not. It None of that really matters. If you're flipping through your channels... And Olympic, you come across Olympic curling, you're gonna watch it. What is it about curling? You can't turn it off. I know I'm not the only one. I, I can't be the only one that has, I don't know if it's some sort of weird fascination or uh, addiction or, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I don't understand it at all. It, I, it looks to me like shuffleboard on ice. Um, I mean, sometimes we go on vacation or whatever, we stay at the beach, the place we, we go every July in Florida, uh, has a shuffleboard thing. And when we go out there, and, and I don't really know what I'm doing, I, I mean, I, I, you, you slide the disc down the thing and there's like a triangle scoring area down there. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to play shuffleboard either, and I don't know the rules of curling and don't really get it, but I am infatuated with the curling, and I can't be the only one. And then they got the, you know, it, it's not enough that you just slide the thing down the ice, right, to try to land it in a certain place or knock the other team's thing out of the way or, or whatever it is you're supposed to do. No, th that, that's not enough. You have to have a second person uh, with, with some kind of a broom. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't get the curling, but like I said, if I come across it, I can't help it. I, I can't make myself change the channel. I, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about curling. But anyway, w what are some of the other sports that are actually exciting and, and you watch it because you actually like it? The snowboarding, right? Uh, some of the snowboarding stuff is worth, uh, worth watching. Downhill skiing. I've never skied, so I'll just go ahead and admit that now. I have snowboarded before, but I've never never even put on a set of skis 
before. But these maniacs are going down these hills. I was watching this the other night. These people are going down these hills 65, 75, 80 miles an hour. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Some of this stuff is dangerous. But, uh, yeah, I like to, you know, I watch the Olympics and, you know, I root for Team USA. I don't know who any of these people are. No, when the Olympics are over next winter or whatever, when they're doing the, I, I won't be watching curling or snowboarding or any of this type of stuff. No, I, I admit that I won't. But for whatever reason, I, I don't know. I've just been infatuated with the Olympics since I was, uh, uh, since I was a, a kid. So, I, anyway, I don't know. Y'all let me know and tune in today at 3. We'll talk more about the Olympics on the live show today, but... Uh, I, I'm just curious if if y'all even watch the Olympics. Are there certain sports you watch and others you don't? Do you not watch at all? What about ice hockey? That's a team sport. Uh, maybe some of you are more into that kind of uh, thing with this being a, a football channel and all. Uh, of course, Team USA, pretty good hockey team. I don't think they're uh, favored to win it. Canada's got a really good team. Same on the women's side, too. Uh, but anyway... Y'all just let me know. I don't know. I to me, it's just uh, it's it's just one of those things. When the Olympics comes on, Uncle Lou has to watch.